Hello guys, welcome back to 1878 Blues, Brighton 1, Everton 1. Just before we get into this reaction, if you can like, comment, subscribe. That will make me feel a lot better after a fucking terrible day. Uh, I'm not going to get into it, but it's just been an awful day. And I topped it off, topped it off with Brighton um, equalising in the 95th minute. A terrible fucking goal to concede. And terrible tactics after... Especially when he went 10 men down. Um, I'm fucking fuming. I'm absolutely fucking fuming. I haven't felt that pig sick from a moment since we got beat 3 2 by Burnley. You know, the other defeats leading up in that season um, hurt because I knew that we needed the points. It was desperate stages of the season, which this is becoming now. Um, but this one really hurt with everything going on. Um, the fact Brighton have already equalised quite late against us in the reverse fixture at Goodison Park this season. It just, I just couldn't fucking believe it. I couldn't believe it. It feels like we get away with a lot when it comes down to the games and holding on to something. We get away with it. We defend well as well. Resolute. Uh, I don't... Listen... I really want to go at the manager, but at the same time he has picked us if there wasn't a 10 point deduction, 31 points, which is like three points off last season's total, whatever it was. It's fucking tremendous and fantastic effort by the lads. But to me, there's no fucking excuse for the last nine games. It's been a fucking disgrace. And a lot of performances, not all of them, some of them we deserved a bit more, always unlucky, but a lot of them, We've been fucking shocking, absolutely shocking. And today is another one, uh, aside from the defence, uh, defenders. But then at the same time, to concede a goal like that, to let Dunk in the air and let him, without a real challenge, without anyone going, there's no chance I'm letting anyone head this ball. There was just no one who had that kind of anticipation with their jump or or just anything like they kind of just stood there and then jumped I think it was Godfrey jumped and Dunkers gave himself a bit of momentum to run and jump and head it in I couldn't fucking believe what I was seeing I just wouldn't let anyone head the ball like that as easy as it was for them in the 95th minute when we haven't won a game since last year I, I just think it's fucking disgraceful defending. There's about four of them in and around just standing there and just like, oh, yeah, the ball's gone over for me. There's no, like, sort of, let's just make sure any Brighton play right now, someone make a quick look, any Brighton player in the box right now, make sure he's not fucking getting anywhere near it or we're going to put him off. Don't exactly foul him, but put him off. And I just couldn't believe the goal we conceded in this kind of game we need to win. And a, and a wonderful strike from Bramfleet. Unbelievable strike. With other teams losing as well. And we just give it up like that. It's a fucking disgrace. And I, I haven't swore much in, in recent videos. I tried to turn it down. But that has wound me up. Absolutely wound me up. The fixtures we've got coming are fucking hard. Like all of them are. To have an opportunity where only Brighton's lost one game at home this season and to throw it away like that. Yeah, Brighton deserved it. Brighton deserves something from the game. They probably deserve to win. Let's just be honest. They had a lot more shots than us, a lot more action than us. I think Bramford's shot was the first shot and target or shot or whatever the fuck it was, all game. But we're not as good as Brighton, so we have to fucking get the Mariva buses out. Fuck's sake, sorry, one sec. We had to get the Mariva buses out because we've, we've, we was fucking all over the place. Actually, that light looks better. We was all over the place um, if we go man to man. You know, bear in mind, he, wasn't, he didn't have Matoma um, and someone else as well was quite influential for, in Brighton's team and we still struggle. It just doesn't matter who gets injured. You know, Crystal Palace, new manager or no manager with three of this star key players out and we fucking struggled and played awful never mind just not winning and being a rookie or whatever whatever played awful like 
again today, defensively good till the last 10, 15 minutes. Blame Dice and blame play players. Mostly blame Dice in the sense of you, you kept Let and Brighton come at us with 10 men. When you're at 10 men and you're losing 1 0, you're gonna fucking. You've got nothing to lose, really. So why are we fucking sitting back, soaking it all, soaking it all in? I'm sorry, it's fucking shit, Um I get in some games, not this game to me. He's got it all wrong. I think you just keep trying to put the pressure on them, make them, make them move the ball fast, which is a good operating. Let's just let's not, you know. But it's getting desperate for them because it's getting later on in the game. Don't just fucking let them cross balls in. Play around in the 18-yard box and all that kind of stuff. Don't be doing that like a team like Brighton. They'll cut you open at some point or they'll punish you. And we deserved to, for Brighton to score near the end. But it's just absolutely gutting. All them fans went out there to, to witness that type of ending. It's shocking and shite. And I'm just pissed off because I don't know where the next win's coming from. It's nine games now. You could say, yeah, we only lost about two in them nine or whatever, whatever it is, it's fucking shite, it's shite, you know, yeah, we, we don't, we're not, again, taking opportunities when they come at us, a fucking attack and play is fucking shocking, it's absolutely terrible, it's absolutely terrible, I just don't know, I didn't even watch the game, but I just, I can, I've, I've read the reviews and everything, I just fucking know what that type of game, uh, what that game was like. When you get an opportunity like that to be bright in a way, you've got to take it. Now, I don't know where the nine minutes come from. Everyone's gone on about it. I don't know what happened, but everyone's going to should have been about four or five. And if, you know, someone made a point that if it was, you know, because it's nine minutes, their fans are going to be like, oh my God, we've got so much more time. Do they, all rev the, the players on? If it's like three or four minutes, they're a bit like, oh, fucking hell, you know, it's nearly over. I think this has done this. Um, and. Yeah, it's just it's just fucking ruined my moods. It's fucking ruined everything to be honest. It's just pissed me off. And I'm just I'm anxious now. I'm I've got to that stage now it's hit me where I'm like, this is not looking good. Twenty one points, yes, should have been thirty one. It's not gonna be thirty one with this appeal. I don't even think we're fucking getting anything because it's taking the piss. Why would you pun if we got points back, then why have you punished the fans longer? By taking your time to release? You fucking know what's happened. You know what's happened? So why have you, why are you not telling the fans who are going through enough torture as it is being an Evertonian? And it's been a, it's been a, a life living in hell, being an Everton fan, to be honest, most of my life. But in the past three years, it's just... Honestly, I feel like I, I'm dealing with a hangover I haven't recovered from. Like, it's, it's, it's just the worst... Like, I don't look forward to any game. I dread every Premier League weekend. I used to love relegation battles. Used to love it. So much so much madness going on. And it was just great to see. And great to see the fans, you know, going off their heads when a team down at the bottom score or win a game or whatever. And just the drama and everything. It's fucking torture being in it. And you know what? If we get out of this somehow and start progressing in future seasons and future years and whatever... I will be looking and feeling 10 times more sorry for fans who have to deal with relegation battles. Um, but it's 10 times personally worse for us because we haven't been relegated in about 75 years. So, you know, my dad hasn't seen us go down. A lot, a lot of, just a lot of people haven't seen Everton get relegated and it's it's putting the pressure on 10 times more than any other club right now, except especially at the bottom of the table. Sheffield United oh, has to fucking come back up whatever next season or two. Luton, you know, it's a bit more of a big deal for them because of the smaller club, you could say, and they've got a small stadium and all this kind of stuff and not probably not as much funds, I could maybe say, as Sheffield United and Burnley. Um, they're more equipped for the Premier League. Uh, so it could be tougher for them. So they are obviously biggest rival at the moment obviously with the league table, standings and points and whatnot. Um, but it's not looking good, isn't it? It really isn't looking good. It's, it's, it's fucking horrendous. You know, a weird bit of hope for Deli Ali coming back and just a bit of someone different. Even though Deli Ali isn't 
really done anything for Everton majorly apart from coming on against Crystal Palace when going 3-2 he changed the game in my eyes he hasn't really done much at all since then obviously we know our, his, his story and whatnot. but um, you know it, it, it gets that desperate that I'm begging for players like that you know I was even begging for Jesse Lingard to come in my head you know what I mean in my head I was like I wouldn't mind Jesse Lingard just coming on a free um, it's just that desperate you know not getting any signings in you know getting one or two players in it kind of just kind of re-energises the squad maybe we just had nothing in and it's just it's just becoming and looking a lot very tragic it's looking really tragic um, for us at the moment because I, I just I personally I can't see us I can't I keep saying it and we do get out of it but I don't know third, third time lucky for a lot of fans hoping us to go down could be you know their 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 wish granted because I, I just I can't see anything apart from the defence keeping us in this league. Um you know if you won one nil today, what a fucking result that would have been. Would have been on twenty three points, could be thirty three, probably not. But anyway, another you know a win to relieve that pressure to get a clean sheet again. No, absolutely not. Fucking no. Do us in, you know what I mean? Just do us in every time. Give us that tiny bit of hope and crush it again and again and again and again. And it's it's just pathetic. Daesh has bottled it to me. Massively bottled it. Um, I really want to see an attack. And, I, you know, Calvert-Lewin does a job in certain areas and it helps better than any other attacker we have. Yes, he hasn't scored a goal, um, which is obviously his job. Which is obviously his job. But I would just like to see a bit of a refresh. You know, the wingers are providing fuck all. Let's just be honest. The Mars would be, you know, if they play noughts and crosses, they'll fucking lose every time because they can't cross anything. And it's just inconsistent as fuck. And I don't know, tell me any bad delivery services out there because our name, should we rebrand them as McNeil and Harrison? And Dan Juma and James Garner, the fucking shocking at deliveries um, and crosses into the box and, and just everything. I, I but I don't even know if I can blame Dice for that. But just being too, is pragmatic the right word? I can't. I don't know. I'm fucking knackered. But just too. Uh, what's the word? There's another word though. It's just too safe for everything and not taking much risks in the players going forward because he doesn't want too much space in behind. So then them players are leaving Dominic Carver-Lewin isolated and doing stuff on the pitch, which I don't want to see Dominic Carver-Lewin doing because he's not very good at it, apart from the aerial battles. And he should just be staying in that box like fucking Jack. You know what I mean? Got to start calling him Jack. Stay in that fucking box, mate, because... I'd rather just see him do that because that's what he did with Ancelotti. Yes, better players, better service at the time. But still, I just think it's all too safe and I just feel like one at some point here we're going to get punished and then he's going to try and change things too little, too late. And I'm just getting really worried because I'm not seeing any signs of anything. But as I was just about to say, I'd rather see with a bit more attacking. You know, we should be really attacking Brighton with 10 men down, making it even harder for them to get back in the game. Because we're fucking putting pressure on them, we're not giving them much time on the ball, which they like. Um, I just don't fucking get it. But you know, you put Ashley Young, Ashley Young, Ashley Young on as well. I'm gonna fucking clue why. I really oh, just I don't understand. But anyway, the tackling to me should be double on the left. Just give someone else different a go um, from the start. Dominic Cavalier in the middle and maybe better on the right because better's playing on the wing, hasn't he? I think for Udinese. And he just likes to run. He's like a fucking nutter. He just, just runs and runs and runs. He's not very good at finishing at all as what we've as what we've seen. And he just you know, I just prefer him to be annoying on the wing and trying to provide something. Maybe a bit of one two play. Um, instead of crossing the ball into Dominic Cavalier because it just never seems to get to him. And if it does, he just can't finish it. So I don't know, I just need to see something different because I'm not seeing enough. And, you know, if you're getting players like Brownfleet scoring goals like that, there's a problem, isn't there? There's a problem. One, Brownfleet's fucking phenomenal. And he's definitely not going to be here in the summer. But 
how can he do that? And you've got the likes of our attacking players who can't even shoot their shot in the red light district in Amsterdam. You know, it's that bad. Um, I'm just fucking gutted because even if he didn't deserve to win today, you've got to have them wins in your locker at this stage of the season and we haven't got them and we're fucking... We're conceding late twice against Brighton. That's t- four points we've dropped in the last 10 minutes of games against Brighton. And it's just, it's absolutely crushed me, this one. Absolutely crushed me. And I just, I'm just i just deadening every single week now. And you've got the red shites tomorrow with their final. Um, I have to deal with that as well. It's just never-ending shiteness being an Everton supporter. Um, but if I can get through this period of time with Everton whatever the outcome is then I can get through anything so yeah fucking hell anyway I'll see you all soon um, and I probably will do a match preview this time because I haven't done for the last four or five games I think a match preview for the West Ham game I think is the next game I hope um, and I'll see you all then bye